Well, the last morning. What are we eating for breakfast today, Donnie? Kind of. Well, we got eggs and it looks like a, you brought some rolled sausage, a rolled ham, but I think it's more like spam. And uh, finish up the donuts, finish up the pie. You know, eating odds and ends here this morning, I guess. Not the worst breakfast. No. I gotta tell you a story before we pack up and head up river. Last year we did this same trip. This story resulted after the trip, after we got after I got home. Last year the water, we were here about five nights, and the water really, compared to this year, really dropped a lot. Because we always put a stake in like we did this year to keep an eye, you know, every day we'd check it, see how much the water had gone down. Last year it had gone down like six feet from the stake. So we knew we were gonna have problems getting out because there's a lot of low, rapid water in different places going up through. So we got up to about the last one and Joey, because he was in the bow, had to get out and get his feet wet and a little more and started dragging us up through and I I was in the canoe and I you know we couldn't paddle anymore we couldn't motor anymore so I put my canoe on top of the load like that and I was reaching around a frig with something on the motor I don't know what but I, when I did I hit it like that and it went in the water. And of course the current was really strong there and, the freaking thing is gone. and started floating in back of us. Well, we'd worked our butts off getting to the point that we were at. And, and I said, I jumped out quick, I Joe, just it. let it go. Just it. to heck with it. So we let now it go and went home. Him. Two months later, after Joe had made the video, I got a knock on the door and lo and behold, someone that had seen the video was kind enough to have this paddle made, which is a piece of work. I mean, it's, it is an awesome paddle. And he made a, it. A lot of, uh, I found out later that a guy named Drew made it. And I think he lived in the old town, uh, a Bangor old town area. I think uh, Stevie, a friend, had had come up with the idea or had something to do with it. I don't know what he had to do with it. He and his brother Mike had something to do with it. But I just want to thank all you guys for such a gift. I said, it's a wall hanger. I'm not going to use that. And they, they insisted that I use it. Well, I brought it along on the trip. I did dip it in the water like that. But I didn't hit bottom with it. I didn't scour up the the paddle at all. <clears throat> and it's going back home as a wall hanger. So that's the story. Beautiful ash paddle. Craftsmanship is Exquisite. I mean, it is awesome. It's made up of like, I would say three, three pieces, maybe four pieces. Pin or brass pins. It's a work of art. Must have taken hours to make. So thanks, Drew. It's a great job. She's doused. That's the end of the line for this year. Yep. A long trip out. A couple hours. If we're lucky. Try to leave it better than we find it.
I think we found it in pretty good shape. Yeah. Pretty good load, Donnie. Feels like we're coming out with more than we came in with. Well, believe you me, we well, yeah. are. <laughs> Look at the back end of this thing. We're hauling out pulp wood. <laughs> going the wrong way. Donnie! Donnie! Hi. We gotta go that way. We do? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> it's easier going the other way. That's true for a little while. Well, that was a long haul. Took about two and a half hours. So I'm glad we had that motor. Otherwise, we'd still be paddling. We'd probably be paddling for about two days without the motor. Got a lot of gear. Got a lot of gear to unload. Then we're going to go back out and see if we can find that anchor. We gave it about five minutes looking. Couldn't really find much. Oh, we're ground. We're ground. Good job. It might be a minute walking. Good job driving. Let me pull you in, Donnie. You didn't hit many rocks. Wow. And you found the right way back. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Two and a half hours. How's your, oh. how's your legs? Man. Oh man. I feel like I gotta pee a little bit. I dinged something right in there. Let me get the magnet out of there. But I had two or three good pings. Okay, you can go forward a little. About five feet forward. Dinging. Right here. Right here. Let me get this grass out of the way. Dinging. Go forward just a hair. Yeah, uh, hold on. Hold her right there. I'm on it. Magnet stuck. So I think I can see the end of it. I can't see it. Oh, I see a tooth maybe. But the magnet's in there good. Okay, so. Well, I'm almost thinking we don't leave until I get it to the bank. Okay. Like I could leave the magnet, I could leave this tied to it. I'm right between those two. I mean, I can leave this on it. Can you go forward a little bit? We're about 10 feet south of it. I'm going to have to go under to get it. It's a lot deeper this year than last year. Yeah, how I, deep is that? I thought I saw the tip of it after the magnet stuck, right? 
Yeah, see, you can see the tip. Okay. How deep is it? That's a great question. Oh, there's the end of it for sure. I see it now. Ready, watch. You hear that? No. All right, we found it. It is pretty deep. You want to know exactly? Wow. It's that deep. <laughs> so it's over my balls. Right towards that dead. Yeah. Well, we kind we, of to the left, a little to the left of that, maybe. Yeah. We found it. It's a lot deeper this year. I don't know if we can get it to shore or not. It's not, yeah. water temp's about 51, 52. It's not good. Yeah, I wouldn't stay in a long time. No, I'm gonna go as quick as I can. I gotta go under to get the thing though. Oh. Because there's no other way. Yeah, that just went past one level of comfort. Oh. Wowzers. I can see pretty good. It's out for the logs. Yep. Oh. Belly button's next. Then the tips. I'm on my tippy toes. I don't know why. I don't blame you. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I, just, I don't know. Maybe I can drag this thing. You see... Oh. You think you'll see the rope? I hope so. Am I in line pretty good? I, I, I'm guessing you are. Yeah, me too. Oh my god. Alright, there's the rock. I don't see the rope. I think I'm standing on the ice. How come I don't see it? I think a little bit up further out. Was it? I think so. No, I see the anchor. I don't see my magnet. All right, I see the end I gotta get. My magnet rope must be pushed right down. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wish I brought that hook. Maybe I can lift it with my foot. That's, that's darn heavy. I don't know if you can do that. Well, the light end. Oh, God. That's cold. Nope. I found it. This is definitely it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Here goes everything. Oh, man. I don't even want to do this. You don't have to. I have to. I don't want to, but I have to. I'm going to try with my leg one more time. Okay, my foot's under it. Oh, I could lift it a foot. Oh, it was close. That was close. Now I'm up my ribs. That was so close. Let me switch legs. Oh, God. Shit. I gotta go under. Oh, I could lift it about that high. Oh, wow. And then I run out of power. I might try one more time. Oh, God. That was my tit. My tit's under. My left tit went under, Donnie. That's gold. <laughs> Yeah, got it. Hey. Got it. Wow. It's heavy. Oh, God. Wow. That is heavy. That's one heavy piece of metal. Oh. There's no way you can drag it. Yeah, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can drag it. I'll just have to make sure the spikes aren't down, you know? Right, right. Oh man, remember the water last year was a lot shallower than this. Oh yeah, and a lot warmer. I'm gonna try drag it. Oh yeah. Oh god, that's cold. That hit a part of my back I hadn't felt yet. Oh 
we're gaining on it. Take your time. There's a truck going across the bridge. He's stopping. No, they didn't see me. They looked the other way. <laughs> Good thing. Oh yeah, here we go, Donnie. Power. All them years of milking cows and catching. Wow. Got my legs built up. Ugh. Take your time. I can't. I'll get hypothermia. Ugh. Oh. 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 Holy cow. Holy. Oh. Oh. We're gaining. Sure are. Uh. Gaining on it. Oh my god. It's heavy enough. It's holding me up. I'm just leaning. What's the next plan? I put it right in back of my boat. I mean, right in back of the motor. I could get it up on shore. Yeah. Yeah. Right in back of me. Maybe we can. Let's just get it this far and okay. take a look. We found this thing last year. And it was easier to find last year than this. Oh, there goes my shoe. Uh oh. Oh, good. It's stuck. It's stuck in the mud. Got it. Oh, get on there, shoe. Ah. On the bottom of that's an anchor. Yeah. Boy, that, isn't that something with that V? Uh... Might diamond lost, in it. Might have lost my magnet. Huh? When I was dragging, I could have lost my magnet. Oh. Yeah, they put a log through that. I think. Or drove a metal bar or something through it. I don't know what they... Um, yeah, I think it was wood back then. Yeah. Um. Well, I'm just thinking out loud. I could probably get this across your canoe. It'd be better to put it in the middle. In the middle, I mean, yeah. But um, if you could get it up in that little pocket right there, back here, I could get it on shore. Yeah. But I'm thinking, what happens if we bring it to shore now? Do we have any way to get it home until we get that trailer? No, but I could stay with the boat and the anchor. You're right. So maybe we can get it out. That'll save us from getting the yeah. The and John you boat. could hook up the trailer, right? Yeah, that'll save us from getting the John boat. Right. Yeah, okay, good thinking. All right, that's why if we, we can. It. All right, so should I get it up on shore first and kind yeah. of lay it on? Yeah, up in that pocket. Yeah. Oh, if these guys see us, they're going to think we are crazier than we actually are. They probably are. <sighs> My goodness gracious. That is a beast. Don't get it on your foot. Tell you one thing, it's easier to drag than the left. Yeah. All right. I could roll it, but I think I'm gonna. You could drag it just a whisk or more. Yeah, I can. Oh yeah. You want me to flip it up on the bank? Yeah. My foot, my feet are getting right buried in the mud. Oh wow. <sighs> Jesus. Don't let it come this way. No, you my feet wipe, are stuck in the mud. You'll wipe us out. My feet are stuck. I don't want to get hurt. I gotta get my foot out of the mud. My crocs are stuck in the mud, so I take my feet out of it and I'm digging from under it. They float. All right, that one's free. All right, she's up on shore. She's on shore, what's your wow. Can you just drop it back? Well, if you, I'll hold that GoPro if you want to grab that paddle. 
I can. And I can move the canoe for you. Yeah. I can help you with the canoe too. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. We're thinking like middle, middle. and gentle. And gentle. Uh, yeah. That's still middle and gentle. I've never really been accused of being gentle. So, uh, are we putting this actually in the bottom of the canoe? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can do that. Oh, shit. Put That's me right. in. Yeah, I got you. I got no control yeah, no of the problem. bow no at problem. all. If you oh. move that green box. It's got to be gentle. Yeah, for sure. Oh, geez. Hold on to her, Donnie. <laughs> Hold on to her, Donnie. Wow. <laughs> that was I could, as gentle as I could be. All right, now what? Uh, should I shimmy it? Or do we want to go across? Like this way, maybe? Yeah. I think. Will these hold it? Oh, I gotta get. I gotta get. My You're pinned pretty good. Huh? I mean, I won't let you flip over. All right. I'm wondering if. Should we go this way with it here? Or will these break? Let me think a minute. No, they won't break. But let me think. Okay. Is it better to put it in the bottom of the boat? This down yeah. in the bottom? I don't know. It's going to be hard for me to set it gentle. I mean, I can. I can do my best. Do I just one end at a time. Yeah, I don't want to put it through your canoe. No, I don't either. Because you don't want to be in this water right now, believe no. me. It's about that cold. Yeah. But she's heavy, I know that. Wow. Um, is it would it be too much weight in the back if I put this over this? Should I put it there? It uh, it might be better, yeah, because I got a lot of weight with the motor and. Okay, I'll sit, let me step over it. What are these idiots doing? Good thing there's nobody out here. Wow. <sighs> but we're gonna we're gonna really tip here when. I think. No, you're right. I'll slide it out some more, right? Oh, there you go. Yeah, let that. Easy. Easy. Wait, 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 wait. I can slide it a little more. But I don't want this falling down. Right. Can you bring this back to here? Yep. Why are you so shaky? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you so nervous? Because. <laughs> you look shaky. Shaking. I do. I am shaking. Here, let me see. Let me see that camera so they can see how big this thing is compared to the canoe. <laughs> That's riding pretty good, actually. You like it? Yeah. If it goes over, it's taking us with it. Well, there's no uh, jouncing around when you get up front. Front. You want me to sit still? Absolutely. All right. That's awesome. That I can good. slide it a little if you want. I don't think. No, I, I think it's riding pretty good. Let I'm, me bring you out offshore for a second just to see how weight-wise we're see? pretty good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Put your hand in that water for a second. See how cold that is. It's friggin' cold. <laughs> you it's, better get the hell out of it. We're in October. They say something about hypothermia around 50-something degrees. It's 51 out there. I'm going to jump in. And they say there's an idiot blowing every day. <laughs> every second of every day. <laughs> well, that metal detector found that because we would have never found it. And the magnet kind of held it for us. All right, does it matter if I'm facing front or back? Either way. All right. But do it gently because well, we got all the weight on that. Side. You know what I'm going to do, Donnie? I'm going to bring you right into shore and do it. Yeah, if you can get the nose. I'll get it right on shore. Let's use our head. Oh, there goes the shoe.
All right, so, so this is on dry land now. Can I step in? Since it's on dry land? I think you can push you off. Oh, yeah, now. yeah. Do All right, I'm in. Do I have a paddle? Yeah. Oh man, this could get some ugly. All right, I'm gonna slide this in as gentle as I can. And should I lean a little right or no? All right, now just kind of. I can't see the anchor if it's moving. So the last thing we want to do is drop it in deep water. I could push this off a little more. Hold on. Ready? There's nothing to push on though. The paddle's going right in the mud. Not side by side, but back. Okay. Okay. All right. You ready? What am I ready for? I don't know what I'm ready for, but I'm ready. Yeah. Oh, we are heavy. That way is more. Stay, don't wiggle. Don't okay. Move. I'm not going to move. That thing weighs more than our entire load. I don't like this. No? I don't like, I don't like it a bit, Donnie. I'm not even thinking of moving. Guys, I cannot believe it. If we lose it now, it's staying. Guys, I can't believe we got that anchor. Last year, by sheer luck, I saw that diamond eye and thought, that should, that's not a log. And we went back and we found the anchor. I'll show you the footage to that right here. But we had no way of getting it out and we meant to come back but life happens we couldn't come back so we came back this year the water's about a foot and a half two foot higher and there was so much grass and vegetation we couldn't find it last year it didn't have that grass and vegetation go a little left donnie there's rocks so we ended up finding it with the metal detector underwater i don't think that metal detector is made for underwater but that's how we found it we knew the general area and we scoured. It's pretty shallow, don't it? What's that? It's shallow right there. We scoured and scoured, and then we found it with the metal detector. I dropped my magnet on it with a rope, and the rest is history. You guys see the rest. Now we got to figure out what we're going to do with it. Pretty awesome. Can't believe we can't believe we pulled it off. <laughs> Look at the size of that anchor. Donnie, we did it, All and right. we did it. We made it in. Holy cow! Wow, that's a lot. That I is didn't crazy. Think you could get it in the boat, oh, guys. You could get it in the boat, guys. I can't believe we got that thing. Oh. We've had a year thinking on it. It's been exactly a year to the day when we found that. It's a boom, a log boom anchor. What they do is they would have acres and acres of floating logs ready to go down river, ready to cross a lake. And they would drop this anchor down and hold the entire boom back. And sometimes they'd take that anchor and go a mile ahead of the, the with a boat, drop the anchor and then pull the entire boom up to it if you had to go up against current or against wind. So that's how heavy this thing is. If that could pull a whole oh. bunch of logs, but it's, oh. it's some serious yeah. iron. I mean, these things would really dig in. Yeah. You know, it'd take a couple men bigger than me to lift that thing. Oh yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't lift it straight up. I had to. I had all I could do just to roll it. I didn't have my feet under me, but that doesn't matter. But I mean, look you at this. Well. I'm pretty sure a log went through this. I think I saw a picture once of a log going oh, through that. You? Yeah. And uh, and then you got this big old blacksmith made ring to get some of that mud off. Wow. Well, you think that'll fit in your Jeep, Donnie? <laughs> oh man, I, I would say you'll have to go back and get the trailer. Yeah, I got to. 
I, there's no way we can load it on anything we got no here. sir so that that metal detector is like one of the cheapest ones i could buy and that thing has found us more treasures yeah too bad you lost the magnet but oh i don't care magnets are cheap enough yeah yeah i think when i've dragged it the magnet popped off yeah probably it did yeah because yeah. i i had it stuck to the the other end yeah. we couldn't see it this year the the anchor you know we found it last year by sheer luck and then we honestly couldn't even see it this year because of the um all the grass the yeah, river's the just right full of grass water and, the, and the water's kind of a little bit murky yeah a little murky a little yeah. bit higher yeah yeah last year <laughs> See this year the water is this high. Yeah. Last year it was right. Yeah, it was that high. Yeah, right. <laughs> it was borderline. Yeah. Borderline feelies. Wow. This year it was full on feelies. That is real. That's in nice shape. I never would have guessed we could have gotten that in your canoe. Oh. No. But we talked to some people. We thought about maybe donating it to the log museum, but they have a couple of these. That are just kind of hidden away. They're not even proudly displaying them. I think them. we'll probably donate it to the Jefferson Scoop. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're thinking. You know, it'd be nice to write up a little plaque of kind of the, where it came from and the his, yeah. little bit of the history of of the uh, anchor itself. You yeah. Know, it what it was like used a, for. Like or, a bronze plaque. Yeah, like a little, you know, a little plaque of some sort. Because people are going to be curious, what's that all about? You know, and it'd be You're right. good to have a. Have no, a he's right. That's what we're going to have to do. We'll we'll do some research and find out about getting a plaque made, showing exactly where we found it, what it was used for, and where it was used. Yeah. Donnie, I'd say your anchor's overkill for your boat. Well, you know, you know, the uh, current was pretty stiff down river, and <laughs> you know, we had to anchor to fish because that was uh, fly fishing. That's part of the deal. It was a bitch pulling it in every time. <laughs> yeah, you made me pull it in every yeah, time. Right. We've had a full year of dreaming about getting this thing. Not sure if it was a reality or not. And you guys at home that watched last year's episode, you know, you were dreaming with us and saw the whole thing. You, you saw this end of it. Yeah, you did. That, that, I think know, I did flip video, it up. Yeah. I think I flipped it up so right, everybody could see it. See how high it was. Yeah, it might have splashed you, but... Yeah. We've also thought about it for a year, and we went to a couple different museums together, uh, one logging museum and another state museum, and we, I honestly thought this should be in a museum, but but then we got talking about it, and... I mean, they had, I mean, I think every museum, I'm not saying everyone, but a lo uh, some that I've been to always have one of these in it. So what I think we're going to do, and what we decided is, we both decided we wanted to share it with the most amount of people. That's why, one, we're shooting YouTube. But two, for people to see this in person, I think we're going to put it at my ice cream shop. We get several thousand people a summer, visitors from Maine, from outside of Maine, from all over the country. Yeah. And I think we might do a really nice display on the front lawn and maybe put one end in concrete so it can't roll over or walk away. But yeah. I think that's how the most people are going to be able to enjoy this thing and, and learn about its history. I, that's what I think right now. If you guys think otherwise, leave it in the comments where you think this thing should be and and uh, what else you think we should do with it. But we're definitely going to share it. It's not for sale. You know, <laughs> I've I've heard these no things way. go for stupid money along the coast. You know, for the the saltwater big ship anchors, but we there's no amount of money that can buy this thing from me or Donnie. So that's that's the plan as of now, and we both thought of, about it for a good year and. And uh, people are going to enjoy this thing. Beautiful. Beautiful. You're a brute. I've been accused of worse. Yeah, put that, yeah. Get some weight up. Oh, jeez. That almost took me over. I mean, it can't it can't go sideways. How's that? That's excellent. Hey, we've had a great trip. Found a lot of good stuff. Hope to be back here next year. So tune in. We'll see you next year. No, what about ice fishing season? Well, I mean, this is <laughs> river fishing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this is altogether different. All this right. is a. Stay tuned after that.
Maybe, Maybe. some ice fish. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some ice fish. <laughs> oh, good outro, Donnie. That's Donnie's first outro ever. Leave it in the comments if you guys liked it. And if you like this video, anything else, we love to hear from you. Donnie reads all the comments too. So we love to hear from you guys if you like this video. And we're planning on this trip every year. And we might bring a subscriber next year on this trip. So make sure to comment on the video. There's no way I could have walked away from that. <laughs> I know. We, we've that, spent a year. I didn't see, I didn't recognize the back of the vehicle. I go, that's that anchor that Joe found out. <laughs> and I'm like, that's Joe's vehicle. Yeah. Well, you're the first to see it. Hey, that's, that's awesome. awesome. Thanks, guys. You're the, you guys are the first ones to see it. You don't even have to wait for the episode there. Good. Well, we'll watch it for sure. I watch every single one of your oh, videos. Thank you. what, we... What's your first name? Jason. Jason. Have we met before? No. Nope. You look familiar. Jason, nope. I'm Joe. What's your name, bud? Luke. Luke. Nice to meet you. We've been very Jack, fun. nice to meet you guys. But I was just, we just came through by Chamberlain parking area there, and I'm like, I gotta check with somebody and see what, what there is to stay there, because I'm like, I watched Joe's video mm -hmm. there, and they, that's the next thing on my list of stuff I want to do. Donnie, they recognize the anchor from last year's video. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. I said, I got that's Donnie, if you guys want to meet him. How you doing? Hi. Hi. I recognize you. Oh, yeah. Luke and Jack. Yeah. Did you end up restoring any of those axes? I did. Yeah. yeah, Donnie's got... I got uh, three, uh, two. Yeah. Three. We put one on a plaque, the yeah. one from Belfast. Right. And then one of them, I hung on a handle, a maple handle with a yeah. Yeah. with a uh, octagon. Yeah. And then the other ones we're still working on. 